Welcome back, everybody. It is July 15th, 2018, 149 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, we are going to shift gears really quick, and we are going to go across the Pacific Ocean to our friends in Taiwan, where it is typhoon season, believe it or not. I know I have not been talking too much about these typhoons. We just had a major... Um, Basically, compared to our scale on the hurricane scale that we use in the Atlantic Ocean, uh, Category 5 Maria, which was also a major Category 5 hurricane last year for us in the Atlantic that just hit East China, causing a lot of damage, many deaths, a lot of flooding. It clipped the top of Taiwan. Um, this is also involving the Philippine Sea, the East China Sea, and the South China Sea. So these things kind of come out of this area, and they tend to want to wrap around and then come back into the east part of China, or even hit Taiwan directly. And now the reason I'm bringing this up is because, um, according to Tropical Tidbits, this thing could be a very, very big storm. And this storm will be named San Tin, that is S-O-N-T-I-N-H. Um, right now it is Tropical Depression 11W. Um, if we watch here on Tropical Tidbits, you can see the low pressure system here, which I believe is what they're watching as far as the invest right now. But as we move into, right now you can see we're uh, July 12th, so this already came and went. Once we get to the 15th, we could see right here this low pressure system. This is what they're watching, and check out this. This thing blows up pretty quickly. Right there would be considered a typhoon. And then if you watch the pressure drop, guys, this thing hits 951 just before it looks to hit the northern end of Taiwan. Now, the people in Taiwan are certainly preparing for this, especially after Maria. Um, you could see this picture here from Maria. There's still trees down there cleaning up all over the place. This did not affect just Taiwan. This was um, an East China situation. Taiwan, obviously, uh, the Mariana Islands got hit by this really hard. This was a 160 mile per hour uh, peak wind typhoon, which would be equal to a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, they estimated this at $432 million in damage, a very significant storm, probably the strongest one since um, Typhoon Jellowat, which was, um, I believe, in 2009. Oh, no, that was this year. I'm sorry. Jellowat was this year uh, between March 24th and April 1st. That was 120 mile per hour winds. So um, this is our second pretty major um, typhoon in Maria. Now, our third one is the one we are going to be talking about. Um, if you look at the uh, Sapphire Simpson hurricane scale, I know this is a typhoon, but you could still use this as a comparison. Um, if we look at the pressures here, that thing drops down to 951 according to Tropical Tidbits. That is easily in the Category 3 range, anywhere from 100 and 11 to 130 miles per hour. Um, category 5 is 156 plus, and we just said um, Typhoon Maria, which we just finished up with basically on July 12th. Um, uh, by East China hit 160 miles per hour peak winds. So that was a Category 5 easily. And now we are moving on to the next name, which is San Tin. Now, there also is a third possibility of a typhoon, which would be right after San Tin, according to this chart, which would be named Ampil, A-M-P-I-L. That would be another typhoon. Now, I'm going to back this up. We're going to take a look at how quickly this thing develops. Now, we could see here... Uh, this would be July 17th. Now watch between July 17th, there's the 18th, there's the 19th, and then by the 20th, we are about probably a few hundred miles from making landfall in Taiwan. So that is clearly why uh, they had this article posted. The Taiwan weather forecasters are certainly watching this. Um, they posted this entire article about Maria um, in preparation for Sun Tin. Uh, a little bit here, a tropical depression near Guam was likely to turn into Tropical Storm San Tin on Monday, which is tomorrow. But it was still too early to tell if it would ever impact Taiwan. So basically what we do in that situation is we go to our models and we see what they have to say. Now this is the GFS version. The GFS shows um, San Tin clearly forming and becoming a very strong storm uh, between Category 3 and 4 according to the data as of right now. But watch closely after as we move into the 24th and 25th, we have another storm that forms. And if this becomes named again, that will be called uh, Typhoon Ampil, A-M-P-I-L. So 
the uh, Pacific Ocean is flaring up with typhoons right now, and I felt it was very important to talk about this. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, as far as stats go, the deadliest typhoon, I believe, to ever hit uh, Taiwan was Typhoon Kiko. Um, in 2009, and that uh, killed 673 people, 3.3 billion dollars in damage. Um, this was also named uh, Morakot. Uh, there, are some people named it Morakot, and then the Philippines called it Kiko. Uh, you can see here on Wikipedia the stats we had. This was in August of 2009. Um, 150 kilometers an hour, so 90 mile per hour winds. Even though it wasn't the strongest of storms, it still was one of the most deadliest storms that hit this area. Um, as far as Typhoon Maria goes, we could see here this was the path. It came out of the Philippine Sea and almost beelined right to the east coast of China, just going over the top of Taiwan, but um, was big enough to clearly affect the northers, northern areas to the mid areas of Taiwan. Now, this is a different story we're talking about with this new one, because this thing looks to clearly want to go to Taiwan. Um, again, we are still a few days out from being able to tell exactly where this thing's going to go. But if this stays true, you could see that eye wall basically just clips the top part of Taiwan, which means a 75-mile... A ring around that eye wall would be the strongest part of the storm. Same deal with um, Atlantic hurricanes. Hurricanes, cyclones, and typhoons are all the same thing. It just depends on where in the world they are forming. That is what uh, determines whether or not they are typhoons or hurricanes. So, very active situation going on in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is certainly a warning to the people that live near the Philippines and in Taiwan, uh, East China Sea, the South China Sea, the east coast of China in itself. Um, lots of action going on, and again, to compare it to the Sapphire Simpson scale, uh, uh, Maria clearly hit Category 5, and this one is expected to be between a 3 and a 4, based on the pressures we're seeing, and based on, um, uh, basically just the pressures, to be honest with you. So if I back this up again, you could see the numbers here. That hits 951. That's a very, very low number. That's a lot of strength there. That would be Category 3. If it gets any stronger than that, obviously Category 4 would be the next. Anything over 131 miles per hour uh, would put it into that scale. So we have a lot to look, at, uh, look out for in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, again, this is... Uh, the 2009 storm that we were talking about. This is Maria that just ended on the 12th. And now we have to worry about this new storm, uh, San Tin, which looks more than likely to be something that's going to develop and may impact Taiwan a lot stronger than this storm Maria did. Um, will it reach Category 5 status um, compared to the Sapphire Simpson scale? We do not know yet, but it is worth mentioning, worth talking about, absolutely. Um, and with that said, guys, we are still keeping an eye on our Atlantic Ocean. We have plenty of waves coming off of the west coast of Africa. We have one that is actually right in between right now the um basically in between our warm water belt here between the west coast of africa and the leeward islands and then yet another one that has just came off uh west coast of africa passing the cape verde islands and now moving towards the leeward islands so we got to keep an eye on that as well tropical intensity charts show the gulf um, very prone for cyclone formation right now, and clearly this part of the Pacific Ocean is very um, active too. Now, uh, we also have Barrel, which is still lingering around. It is finally moving its way north, uh, northeast actually, right towards Newfoundland. Um, sorry about the pronunciations. I'm doing the best I can, guys. Um, if you see a map in front of you, you obviously know where I'm talking about. So, uh, again, we have St. Pierre in this area. Hopefully it will be down to a, a depression by the time it gets there. It is weakening as it gets into those cooler waters. So, um, again, topic of this one is our um, Taiwan watch and East China watch uh, with this new uh, tropical cyclone, soon to be Typhoon Sun Tin. So, uh, that's the info I have for you right now. I do have another video that I will be posting later on about a very interesting situation going on, putting a lot of people out of their homes, uh, which my girlfriend that you see down in the uh, comment section, Type X, her name is Caroline, uh, sent me the info for, so we can thank her for that. That will be in the updated video, but as of right now, guys, very, very heavy typhoon season. Uh, we are already up to and waiting on letter D for the Atlantic hurricane season, 
And that's it for now. I will be back. Uh, like I said, I was supposed to make another video yesterday. Got caught up doing some stuff, but I will have a second video out today uh, for those of you waiting. So I appreciate your patience. Thank you all very much for the comments below, and we will talk very soon. Take care. Be safe. Stay strong. Bye-bye.